Hello dear friends, here we are in front of this piece of painting. It is called uh, uh, Autumn Woods. So it is uh, Autumn Woods. I forgot how I named it. Anyway, Woods, I think I called it Woods. So it's uh, <coughs> the trees in the woods. And you can see the texture is actually different, right? And this background, the brown color, is matte. And then the tree trunk is uh, uh, grease. And the gras is uh, oily. So this piece of painting is completely in uh, acrylic. And the matte background is acrylic with water. I dilute it. So it has some water, so this one has a matte feel. And if, uh, if I do not put any water, it has uh, an oil painting effect, right? It looks like oil painting. And uh, some of friends suggest me that uh, I stop and do not put too much. And the people have different opinion. And I really, really, really like to hear your opinion, actually. Those are the most valuable ones. Well, I, I, I'm not discriminating, but uh, a friendly critic, or not necessarily friendly or not, a, a true, sincere critic is really, I, I appreciate, appreciate very sincerely. So, this friend uh, told me that maybe I have done too much, and to my surprise, it's uh, usually, it's always uh, people, Western people, I mean people who does not do Chinese painting suggest me that I have done too much. And uh, as far as we know, as far as I know, Chinese painting has a lot of white space. So if this is suggested by a person who does Chinese painting, then I will feel very natural. But uh, it is from people who does not, I think, does not do Chinese painting, but uh, give me such a, a suggestion. So it really shows something profound in, in, in this person is, uh, is regardless of nature, of uh, natural background, of background, of, uh, of education. It's a very interesting thing to see. So I started just um, um, on, the, on, the, on the wood, the dark background, and then I put some white. At the very beginning, I started to think about the white. I always wanted to put something more story behind it, not just uh, in the woods. For example, when I was doing this, I was thinking about um, I was thinking about uh, 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 sunshine. Yes, the sunshine went through, came down, and uh, since the color was not. Uh, not dried at that time, it was quite wet, so I cannot uh, splash the color from up to down. Now I can splash, maybe I can I can make this white a little bit uh, more nuanced, less loud, less contrast, and uh, even cover a little bit, a little bit white over this uh, tree trunk. But, um, now I'm thinking this one looks also like a waterfall in the background, right? Anyway, there are more stories, more interesting things than, than just a plain background. And also, I, I think a painting needs contrast. And uh, it needs some story, some contrast, something interesting, something triggering our eyes and tickling our spirit, our imagination. So that's the story of this painting. <laughs> you always want me to tell story. <laughs> Here is the story by its own of this piece of painting. Anyway, um, like it, 
or dislike it. I, I like to hear your opinion. It's very interesting, very fun. Okay, I will move on to tell you the story of these three paintings. Okay?